This is Twit. My app is, yes, it's a branded app, but it's kind of interesting. I guess this has been on iOS for a while and it took forever to get to Android. I didn't realize that until right before showtime. Uh, but if you like Post-it notes, then you'll love Post-it. I uh, saw this one. I, I thought about it, Jason. I'm glad you're doing it. <laughs> and, and, you know, at first I wanted to just be like, okay, great. Another note taking app. Like, why do I want to do that? Um, and it actually kind of has a unique twist to it. Um, you know, obviously they're playing off of the, the success of post-it notes and how satisfying it can be to scribble down on a post-it note and then be done with it and like toss it away or, you know, or stick it on the wall and in, in, in a way that, you know, makes sense to your own organizational style. That's kind of what it's all about. Basically in post-it, you create boards. And, uh, so, you know, some of the ones that they give you, for example, this is a brainstorming board and you could go into, into these and, you know, have different things that you add into these boards. I don't know what I just did with that board, but whatever, it deserved to go anyways. Um, I created an, an all about Android board. So I would go in here and I created two different buckets, the to do bucket and the done bucket. Uh, in done is finding news. I've already found news. You can kind of see there. It says find news. It really does look like an actual post-it note. Um, I've already found news, so I dragged it over from to do there. Uh, I also finished the all about Android docs. So I'm going to go ahead and take that and move that over there. I don't need that anymore. Um, right now I'm doing the arena, so I'll just go ahead and add uh, this. Do the arena. Maybe I, eh, there we go. <laughs> Good enough. Uh, okay, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the to-do because we're not quite done with that yet. But, you know, basically I'm going to look forward and know that after this we're done in the arena. So I'll go ahead and drag it over there. It's a way to kind of keep organized in a very, I don't know, a unique, uh, unique approach. You can also take pictures if you like. Um, uh, you can capture multiple post-it notes at the same time. I did not know that you could do that. Well, apparently you can. Uh, and you can integrate those in as well. Okay, go away. Okay, fine. Oh, there's all the post-it notes. So that's a demo of capturing multiple post-it notes, and then you keep that on your wall. Um, anyways, you've got all that workspace, and you can kind of play around with it and reorganize things. This is another example of how you would uh, kind of organize things into different to-do lists today and done. And uh, I don't know. It's just kind of an interesting approach for managing kind of tasks and to-dos. These are not notes. Like when you create a new note, you're not given a whole lot of space, especially if you're drawing with your finger. So, you know, you're not going to be scribe. This is not going to be a replacement for your note app. This is really kind of seems to be like an, an, like an information, like management, like maybe a project management or kind of managing, you know, one to two to three word to do items. What did you say, Victor? Like kind of, yeah, kind of like mind mapping. That's a good comparison. Um, so kind of interesting. I, I like how, how it kind of smooths your scribbles as well. It kind of makes things look a little better than they, than they were when you scrapped on there or scratched on there. So anyways, it's called Post-It. It's an interesting approach to this sort of thing. And uh, it is free as far as I know. I didn't, maybe there's a in-app purchase, but I didn't see it. Uh, but it is called Post-It. Pretty easy to remember. And you can check it out now in the Play Store.